Welcome back for another review. Where's this review? Okay, we got some special guests here. My two older boys, and I have many boys. This is a 1998 movie. I remember seeing this movie in theaters in Big Bear, California at the movie theater in town when I was 11 years old with my mom and dad and my brother. The Parent Trap. This is a remake Walt Disney production. So the original movie obviously stars Haley Mills. And I did not know this at the time, but these movies are based on a 1949 German novel by a guy named Eric Kastner. And the book in English is translated to Lisa and Lottie. So it's an adaptation of that story. Do you kind of want to tell everybody what this movie is about? Yeah, it's about... By the way, there's spoilers, but... That's fine. This movie's what it's about 20 plus years old. Is It's about these kids... These two kids, they don't know their sisters, and then one of they go to camp. They go to a summer camp, don't they? Go they go to a summer camp, and then they meet each other, and they prank each other, basically. And then... Yeah, because they were enemies at first, weren't they? Uh-huh. They didn't like each other at first. Anyway, then they find out by that photo that they both have the same mom and dad. Yeah, because if there was a photo torn in half, and the tear line fits perfectly together. So it's a separated at birth story as the parents went through a nasty divorce. One parent took one kid. Uh, Natasha Richardson plays the mom. Dennis Quaid plays the dad. Over 1,500 child actresses auditioned for the role of the, uh, the twins. Uh, the, some original candidates were Mara Wilson, who I believe is in the Matilda movie. And then the young Scarlett Johansson, she auditioned for the role, but ultimately it ends up going to Lindsay Lohan, who was great in this role. And it's funny because of, as a kid, you didn't realize that it's just one person playing the part of both people. And they use movie magic to make it seem like twins. Same thing with Haley Mills in the 1961 original film. There is a lot of tie-ins to the original movie, which I won't go over. There's too many tie-ins. It has the same run time as the original, 128 minutes long. And, like, it's hard to believe that this movie is 25 years, 26 years old. It's a classic of the late 90s. I think it really is. Um, the movie was filmed in San Francisco, Napa Valley. It was filmed at Lake Arrowhead in the San Bernardino Mountains. And the summer camp, I believe, was also filmed in the San Bernardino Mountains as well. Okay, so the movie was directed by a lady named Nancy Myers. She is known for directing the 1980s Diane Keaton classic Baby Boom, as well as she co-wrote Father of the Bride Part 1 and 2, which are great 90s classics, and her screenplay for the 1970s film Private Benjamin, starring Goldie Hawn, won an Academy Award. And she actually wanted to cast a person who she felt like would be a young version of Diane Keaton, which I don't know. I can't see the resemblance there. I'm having to rewatch Annie Hall to get a feel of Diane Keaton in the 70s. But even then, she was in her 20s, so I don't know what the tie-in is there. The movie had a $15 million budget, was a commercial success. It went on to gross $92 million at the box office. And... I remember watching this movie on TV. It was a big deal when it debuted on the Disney Channel in the late 90s. I remember seeing it at my grandparents' house because we didn't have cable at the time. So I remember loving the movie then. It's a mem core memory of my childhood. We obviously have the VHS tape here. I do not know if this is my original childhood VHS tape. I think I might have reacquired this recently because I do not remember owning this movie as a kid. So that being said, the Rotten Tomato critic average is 87%. I am surprised 250,000 audience members have reviewed this movie and their average is only 70%, which, I don't know, maybe it hasn't aged well. Disney is currently going to remake this movie again. Again? What? Yep, they're going to make it again. Why are they? I don't know. It, it just It's on the docket of something to be on Disney+. Plus. Uh, Rotten Tomato, like I mentioned, 87%. IMDb, 6.6 6 out of 10. 600 plus people have submitted their review to Google for an average of 4.8 out of 5. And I, too... I believe this is a four out of five movie. Now, anything above three to me is a classic. This is a classic remake. I think it's a great remake. Great ensemble cast. What do you guys think? What's your I'm rating? Go four out of five. You'd go four out of five too? What about you? Seven out of ten like the pizza I had last night. Dang. What would you say you had a favorite part in the movie that you remember the most? 
Me? Yeah, is there a favorite part that you like the most about the movie? I like when they meet each other. That's yeah, nice. it's a heartwarming film where you see the reconnection. Uh, it just fond memories of watching it with my parents when I was a kid and seeing it on TV too. So, Benjamin, do you have a do you have what's your rating on the Parent Trap? Do you want to come here and talk about it? You guys watched this movie last night, and I watched. Well, it with I you. rated it ten out of ten. You rated it ten out of ten. Mm -hmm. There you go, folks. A family favorite. Who needs Disney Plus when you have an extensive VHS library? Until next time, we'll see you then. Bye.